Welcome to Geographical Analysis, Lecture 7, Descriptive Spatial Statistics, Part 2. Last class we learned about the standard distance st statistic, which is a measure of absolute dispersion in a point distribution. The standard distance statistic does not tell us the extent of dispersion relative to the space that the pattern can exist in, relative to the size of the study area. And for this reason, we cannot use the standard distance to statistic to compare the distributions from different study areas. Imagine the case where we have two cities. City A is quite large while city B is quite small. In either case, we've identified the locations of the high poverty apartment buildings in the city. As we can see from these two point distributions, the level of dispersion in the two distributions relative to the mean center of the distributions is the same. If we were to calculate the, the standard distance statistic for each of these two point distributions, we would find them to be equivalent. In fact, we've done this over here, and we see that the radius of the two point distribution standard distances are equivalent. But provided the context of the study area boundary, we see that these point distributions are different. On the left-hand side, the point distribution is really concentrated just into the center of the study area, while on the right-hand side in City B, the apartments are dispersed quite evenly throughout the entire study area. The standard distance statistic is not able to capture these two qualities of the distributions. The relative distance statistic can. In this statistic, we are simply controlling for the size of the study area by dividing the standard distance by the radius of a circle that would have the same area as the study area. Here we have the two point distributions again. And what we're showing is how we would calculate the radius for the study area. So as we know, area equals pi r squared. And if we wanted to solve for the radius given a known area, we would find that radius equals root of a over pi, which is precisely what we are calculating in these two formulae. One is going to use the area of city A over here to calculate the radius of the circle that has the same area as the study area Okay, so this red circle has the same area as the green study area that I just drew. And similarly, this red circle has the same area as the polygon shaped by the city B boundary. So if city A and city B were perfect circles with the same area, we would be able to extract this radius of each of those two circles and use them in our standard distance statistics. So in the first case, the radius for city A is the root of 418 over pi. And the radius for city B is the root of 161 over pi. These areas are measured or calculated in a GIS, and they have to be in the same units as the distance calculations for the standard distance statistic. So here we have uh, the final calculations of the relative distance statistics. In either case, the length of the standard distance radius, the length of the green, the radius of this green circle is 4.93. The radius that we calculated for the larger study area is 11.53, and the ratio is about 43%. In the second case study, the radius of the circle was smaller, only 7.16. And in that case, the, 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 the relative distance ratio is almost 70%. In other words, the point distribution in the smaller city covers about 70% of the area, Whereas in the larger city, it only covers about 43%. So in this case, we can conclude that, that poverty is more dispersed in city B in comparison to city A.